Welcome back everyone. For the final section in this series, I want to talk about static analysis testing. Static testing is the process of verifying that your code meets certain expectations without actually running it. This has a number of advantages. With static testing, you can ensure consistent style and formatting, check for common mistakes and possible bugs, limit the complexity of code, and verify type consistency. Now how is this different from the testing we have seen so far? Well, all types of tests, be it unit tests, functional tests, integration tests, etc., run the code and then compare the outcome against known expected outputs to see if everything works okay. On the other hand, static testing analyzes aspects such as readability, consistency, error handling, type checking, and alignment with best practices. It is not primarily concerned with whether your code provides the expected output, but rather with how the code itself is written. Testing checks if your code works or not, whereas static analysis checks if it is written well or not. The reason I've introduced this section is because testing and static analysis are complementary to each other, and you should ideally be employing a healthy mix of both in your projects. When it comes to testing React apps, we can employ five tools for static testing. TypeScript, ESLint, Prettier, Husky, and finally, Lint Staged. Throughout the series, we have been using TypeScript, which ensures type consistency in your code. For example, you cannot pass in a string zero if a function expects a numeric argument. TypeScript will flag that. So we have covered TypeScript for the most part. The remaining four, however, I want to cover them individually. If this concept of static analysis testing is clear, let's learn about ESLint in the next video.